How's it going guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to adjust the balance on your Zippy Cycloid V2. One of the main differences between the V1 and the V2 is that you can now adjust the balance in both the blade and the spacers by adding or removing tungsten weights. So let's start with the blade. Every cycloid ships with a two millimeter hex key. To pop the weight out, you would just lever one of the balls out. You're not just pushing it out with the hex key. You're sort of put, placing the hex key over the ball and then using your thumb to push it out. It's gonna require a little bit of force because you don't want the balls popping out on a drop. So that's one. Let's do another one. I actually like to pop the balls out, pushing out from the textured side. So the balls pop out from the smooth side. So I'm gonna do the next one from the textured side. Just kind of push it out with my thumb and the ball will just come right out once you apply some firm but gentle force. I'm definitely not gonna just push like that. And you don't wanna just try and take the whole insert out. Um, it's going to be very difficult or almost impossible to remove the insert while all the balls are in. So you can basically just take away as many balls from the blade as you want, and that's going to increase the handle bias. So if you wanted to pop the balls back in, um, the way I do it is I would just put the ball on a flat surface, place the blade with the insert over it, and then push down. And I'll just repeat that process for all the balls. My stance is that um, the best balance configurations are with all of the balls in the blade for my personal preference, but your mileage may vary. So now that we've gone over the balance adjustment in the blade, let's do the spacers. The easiest way to do this is grab a cloth or a paper towel or something to grip the spacer. I say this because the positive jimping on the side um, can be rough or cause a blister if you try and just pull it out with your hand. And that's because the spacers are fairly well secured in here. Uh, and, and that's what prevents them from falling out on a drop. So using a towel, protect your fingers. And I'm just gonna grip the handles with one hand and then the extension spacer with my other hand. And I'm just gonna gently but firmly wiggle and pull it loose. You can see it's starting to come out. It's gonna require some force, but you're gonna wanna just be very slow. Don't do sudden sharp movements. You could hurt yourself doing that. Just kinda gently but firmly wiggle it out. And this is what it's gonna look like. Um, the, the scales can separate now. You can see here's the male-female snap mechanism. Um, for now, we can put this down and focus on the spacer. I ship it in this configuration with all three tungsten discs in. You can see one, two, three. For my personal preferences, um, I think all the balance configuration that you need all the changes that you need can leave all of these discs in. Um, you can see there's two holes here for tungsten balls. And let's go over how to use those. The easiest way to do it is to just place one ball over the hole. And then I like to take the tip of a clicky pen, sort of perfectly sized for these tungsten balls, and just push it in. And I'll do that with the other one as well. So this configuration has all the weights in. Now if I wanted to take the balls out, I would again take my hex key and just push the balls out. There's one. And 
and there's two. To reiterate, this is the configuration I ship it in because this is my preferred balance configuration. So if you wanted to add more handle bias right off the gate, you'd want to pop those balls in with your trusty clicky pin. Now, I think most folks will have no desire to do this because removing any of these discs um, will just be a balance configuration I imagine not many folks would want, but I'm gonna show you how to do it anyway. So, this pocket here that holds this tungsten disc is actually connected to this hole. So you can use something um, rigid and, and thin and pokey. The hex key that ships with, I think is um, just a little too thick. So you might want something a little thinner and pokier. I use this as part of a gun cleaning kit. Um, a paper clip will probably not be rigid enough, but I'm sure you can get creative and find something. Anyways, you can just use your thin pokey rod. You can see it's connected here, it's poking out. And you can just kind of gently push out this tungsten, tungsten disc here. It's starting to wiggle out. At this point, I'd probably stop uh, pushing and just use some needle nose pliers to pull it out. But for the sake of the video, I'm gonna do it the old fashioned way. Now it's out, if I wanted to put it back in, I just push it in with my finger, press it down into a flat surface and then use the hex key or some thin object to push it the rest of the way down. And you can pretty much do the same thing for these tungsten discs on the bottom. Although I have a gut feeling that most people will have no interest in removing them. These two are also the most difficult to remove. So it'll require a bit of strength and a bit of patience, but I'm just gonna gently push them out. And you can see it's starting to go. Ta-da. I'm not going to do the other one. I think that makes it pretty clear. And then to put it back in, just push it in there. And then your clicky pen will come in handy again. And I just push it in. Make sure it's seated properly. Now, I'm going to leave these tungsten balls out because that's my preferred balance configuration. I'm going to make sure the male-female snap mechanism is secured. The chain which is secured together and it's time to attach the spacer. So just with my fingers, I'm just gonna push it in. Um, this is probably about as far as you'll be able to get it with normal force. You can just leave it there. Now I'm gonna grip the handle and I'm not gonna push down from here. I don't really wanna put that kind of pressure on the pivots. So what I'm doing is I'm pushing from the handle, I'm gripping the handle and then I'm just pushing down. And I really want to reiterate, don't push like that. That's just putting unnecessary stress onto the pivots. Just push down. You can use two hands if you want. So it's seated perfectly. And that's how it should look at the end. Nice and flush. If there's like a little gap here or here, it's not flush. Just repeat the process. You might need to wiggle it side to side a little bit. Push down gently but firmly. No sharp movements. Don't slam into the table. Just push down and you should be good to go. Anyways, in this video, we went over how to adjust the balance on your Zippy Cycloid V2. Thanks for watching. Enjoy, guys.